I ran to the window and saw that the car was about 10 feet further back than it was originally parked. Our neighbor was kind enough to hop in her van and chase the guy down. A Fargo woman is the victim of a hit and run after she says a vehicle hit her parked car, then drove off last night. Valley News Team's Rose Itzkovitz has the details and how police say it may be related to another hit and run that happened at the same time. It was about 10 o'clock at night and heard a loud crash and it clicked in my head that my husband had parked on the street. Samantha DeVerry of Fargo had just put more than a thousand bucks into her car when this happened. I ran to the window and saw that the car was about 10 feet further back than it was originally parked. I seen my neighbor's car smash and I seen the person driving away. Neighbor Jason Current says he saw an older blue Chevy Lumina with Luther family Ford dealer plates take off. His wife, Nicole, went after it. She chased him to where they were trying to ditch the car. His wife says she confronted the man in a parking lot down the street. She stopped him and said, what are you doing? You just hit that vehicle. Like, why are you running away? She flagged somebody down to call the cops, and he had skated by her and took off again, so they lost him. I took Samantha and Jason for a ride so they could show me where the chase ended. More than one neighbor has confirmed to us that someone owning a blue Chevy Lumina lives here off 23rd Street South. I knocked on the door, but no one was home. We found out this is not the only hit and run that happened last night. And police tell us they think they're related since they were called in at the same time with similar descriptions. Now we sent the address of the blue Chevy owner over to the Fargo police. So far, the police tell us no arrests have been made. In Fargo, Rose Iskavis, Valini's Live. At this time, police cannot confirm whether they're searching for an older blue Chevy Lumina with dealer plates. They say the case reports are not completed yet. However, that's the car witnesses are asking the public to look out for.